Okay, Digby once again, welcome to GoFly... Oh, what do we call it? <laughs> GoFly Online, GoFly Fix. Go fly fix. <laughs> okay, what does it get? Oh, good morning Digby and uh, wonderful day for flying and welcome to GoFly Fix again. Thank you for having me. We're going to look at um, an emergency which we don't... A lot of schools don't actually practice, but um, I like to do it just once anyway during your training is a control um, surface failure. So either a, a failure of your ailerons, rudder or elevator. And, and my, the failure that would occur would either that the cable breaks, yep. so you've got no use of the control surface, uh, or somehow it gets locked into position, so something gets caught in the cable and it gets locked. I wouldn't wish that upon anybody. No, it's um, it's, a, it's a worst case scenario and it's, it's, it's not a great thing if it yeah. ever happened, uh, but it doesn't have to be a showstopper. Okay. Okay. I think just quickly, uh, wishing everyone a, a happy new year for 2020. Oh yeah, excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Digby. Okay, so I might demonstrate the first circuit. Yep. And to show you a few things that might go wrong, so I've got control. You have control. Okay. A little bit bumpy today. Calandra traffic, Cessna 172, Mike, November, Foxtrot, taxing runway 30. Well, the bumpiness is just reassuring that the air is still there. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> looking out there, just keep an eye for that. That's what we discussed. The three type of failures would be, uh, you know, control. Uh, linkage, cable, breakage, or something getting stuck. Yeah. So, the worst case scenario is, is, is the control column gets stuck and you're not in a neutral position, so you're not in straight level. So just say we're turning right now, I'm using my ailerons and all of a sudden it gets stuck and left yeah. roll and I keep rolling. So, still not a showstopper, we can use, for instance, if we're in a roll, we can use our rudder. So if I keep rolling now, I can use my opposite rudder to overcome that rolling tendency, but providing it's not too, yeah. too severe, yeah. okay? Um, and I can actually control the roll with the secondary effect of rudder. Not easy, but you can do it. So if that happens, you just go, okay, what else can I use? I can use rudder. Okay, I was a rudder, yeah. bring it back to straight. And then you'd have to just fuck around for a while to get a feel for how I could steer it with rudder. But today, for easiness, we're just going to assume that we've just lost the linkage, so a cable's broken. So the control surface is in the neutral position. Yep. So at the moment, let's assume we've got no, got no ailerons. Okay, I've only got elevator and I've only got rudder. Okay. Still not a showstopper. We, as we know, we secondary effect of rudder. We can actually um, steer. A uh, secondary effect of uh, rudder is roll. Yep. So at the moment, I can actually steer. It's gradual, but it's, it's still there. It's still there. Okay. So I'm going to. You've got control. I'd also just like to verify for the people watching at home. Yep. You're not cheating. Yeah. Correct. I've watched. Yep. That's right. <laughs> so what we're going to do is, you've got control. No control. Um, but you've got no ailerons. I'm going to make sure you can't use the ailerons. You've only got pitch. Okay. And you've only got rudder. Okay, I'm going to keep things safe, so if it's outside of the safe envelope, I'm going to say I have control. Yep. So just do your pre-landing checks quickly. So in a real life situation, if, if it's not critical, you might want to just depart the circuit a bit just to get a feel for how to control the aircraft with the secondary effect. But for today's purposes, we'll stay in circuit. I'll get the right aircraft. Yep. Fine, traffic fling 8515, base runway 30, touch and go Calandra. Maybe we can't use the other one, so I'm, I'll, I'm there to make sure you can't use the other one. To make your turns a little bit earlier, so you haven't got to be doing any any large, steepish turns on the final. So it's just easy if you do everything a bit more gradual if you're only using ladder. You yeah, haven't got other ones. I know, I'm not using them. Yep, good. There you go, yeah, I'm pretty much on the centre line, as you can see it's not, not a showstopper. The thing is to get, to get it on the ground safely, it doesn't have to be a pitch perfect landing. What are you saying about my yeah. landing? <laughs> <laughs> I am just keeping it slightly skewed to the right of the wrong Yeah, there's a, a, a bit of crosswind there. Yeah, so I'm just You'd be using ladder anyway right now, so... Yeah. Um, so as we can see, the Digby, you'd, you'd be able to land it just with rudder. It wouldn't be the, probably the prettiest landing. Um, but it is it's possible. The main thing is don't make huge rudder movements so you get a huge secondary effect. Correct. Just slight rudder movements all the way down and you have your ailerons back. That was good.
good. So losing rudder isn't so much of a, a huge issue because we can still bank and turn using our ailerons. Yep. It just means it won't be a, a coordinated turn. But once again, if you're on final approach, make the try and make the turns gradual with roll. So you don't get this this severe yep. rolling close to the ground. Which you um, don't want. Which you don't want. But but yeah, losing rudder you tend to not be a, a major um, issue uh, until you if you've got a steel steel nose wheel it may be if you've lost the cables once you land. Yeah. Um, that would be a bit tricky. Yeah. yeah. But but in the air it's not too much of an issue. But we're going to look at now what happens um, if we lose the elevator. Okay. Oh, so let's okay. just assume that we'll level off. Yeah. And all of a sudden snap we've lost our elevator cable so our elevator's gone to neutral. Yeah. So how would you think we can get, we, we can control that pitch? Um, probably with power. You could do it with power, right? Yeah. right? But that's uh, you know that's hard. That's, that's yep. Go on, tell me how to do it then. No, that, that isn't. That's not completely wrong. That is one way we can yeah. do it. Okay. Um, but what else? What else? What else moves the elevator? If I was a good student, I would say my trim. Yep. Good. Excellent. Okay. So we've got trim. Okay. So just do your preliminary checks. Alright, brakes are off, undercarriage locked and secured. Emper mixtures are good, F for fuel is on the fuel tank, no for instruments are all on the grid, the switch switches are all on, stage bands yep. are all off. So, we can use trim to control a pitch, but the thing is you need to be very gentle with it, only very small trim changes. So just, just trim up for me. Trim up. Yep, those pitches up, and then trim down. And you can see how, if you're not careful, we can get in this oscillation. Yeah. Okay, so. What I'm going to do now, you've got no elevator, you can use ailerons and rudder, but I want you to use trim to see how you can do the uh, base and final approach, okay? Alright. And if I say I have control, I've got full control. Yep, yep. If um, you've had a control uh, linkage failure and a control service failure, I would give a, a mayday call. Yep. Uh, it, is a, it is an emergency. You want all the aircraft out of your way. Better just be uh, on Calandra first of all. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Uh, also, uh, cloud traffic, sling 8515, sling 8515, sling 8515. We've experienced a uh, control failure on our elevator. Uh, we're now uh, going to be conducting an emergency landing on runway 30 Calandra. And you might want to give a call on uh, Brisbane uh, area frequency as well. Yep. There's someone who's been paid by the government can uh, call emergency services. And the thing is, if you've got the aircraft trim correctly on final, you don't need much pitch change. In yeah. fact, when you, as you said, when you change the power, there will be a slight pitch change anyway. And it should maintain that airspeed. But obviously the flare would be a bit tricky. And the, the idea is, don't use more than two-stage flap. In fact, I'd probably recommend one-stage flap, but two-stage is fine. Come in a bit flatter than you would normally. So you haven't got a huge flare at the end. Yep. So you're almost in the landing configuration before you land, so you haven't got to trim much for the to get that nose up on the landing. So what you're doing now is pretty good. I'll maybe bring the power up a little bit more so you get... And once again, you're not looking for a perfect landing, just a safe landing to get you on the ground. But as you can see, it's not a showstopper. You can actually get down by using trim only. And you've got full control now. Yeah. We're not going to simulate the actual flare and hole-off. This is a... It's a uh, worth putting the aircraft at risk for yourself. Okay, so that was a good thing. As you can see, on, on most occasions we have a control surface uh, cable failure or a lock, it's not a showstopper. Yep. The only real showstopper would be if you had an elevator lock in a position, either you know, full pitch up or full pitch down. Using trim might fix it because obviously it's locked in position. Um, and that would probably, unfortunately, result in a fatal accident. Um, unless you had a ballistic shoot on board, uh, on board your aircraft. But if we had actually a breakage and the control services moved to the neutral position, as you can see, we can use a, a secondary effects of our other control services to actually fly the aircraft. Yep. Main thing is, if you're in the circuit and you're still not sure, just depart the circuit a bit and uh, just get used to that, use that secondary effect of that control before you come back into circuit. Yep. Give a mayday call so the other aircraft get out of your, um, out of your way um, and take your time, make everything a bit wider than you would normally. 
you turn more gradual. So there's ma no major either bank angle or pitch changes yep. on that final approach, but that was good. Okay, great. Thanks, Excellent. Oh, let's um, keep going until we continue. So hopefully we'll see you next time. Woo, see you next time.